Hey guys, how you doing? Crazy calendar lady. It is Sunday, November 5th, 2017. I hope you had a great day today. I know I'm getting on a little late. Um, for me, anyway. <laughs> I promised you guys I'd have these up by 9, but I always tend to do them earlier for some reason. So, um, <laughs> I've gone to, on a binge watch. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my own fault, but at least I'm not late. <laughs> so did you do anything for American Football Day? Uh, how about National Donut Day? I'm sorry I wasn't able to find you any free donuts. I figured that, you know, somebody would do something, but there's so many donut days. <laughs> um, and actually I have something about that coming up later. Um, did you do anything to celebrate red hair? Um, did you do zero tasking day? Did you take advantage of um, the extra hour that we had just to kind of relax, do something for yourself? What did you do? Let us know in the comments. Um, I slept in. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyway. <laughs> so tomorrow, uh, Monday, November 6th, is uh, Marooned Without a Compass Day. Um, now, I was told that there are a couple different ways that this can be taken and or celebrated or however you want to call it. Um, different things that can be done for it. Um, you can walk out in the middle of the woods and just kind of get lost and find your way back without a compass. Um, or you can just kind of use it as a day to maybe go out in the woods and unplug you know, um, and, uh, sometimes we need that, you know, just turn off your phone, turn off your iPod, you know, tune out everything and just kind of relax for a minute, recharge, you know, all of that. You guys know I stress all the time taking care of yourself. Um, so, um, I just think it's really important and so, you know, I repeat myself a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it is also Job Action Day. Um, and the basic goal of that is um, to get more enjoyment out of your job, out of what you do. How can you grow in your career if you're looking to move on, if you're looking to find a job, if you're looking to find a new job? Um, and I do have a link um, that I'm going to put down in the description. So... Don't let me forget that. <laughs> if I forget it, yell at me. I'm sure you guys will. <laughs> um, we also, what I was saying about having a lot of donut days, we have another uh, nacho day tomorrow. Um, and I found out some information that I didn't know before. Um, nachos actually um, were invented um in 1943 um and there may have been variations of it before um but what happened was um some people some soldiers wives were visiting mexico and they had come from fort duncan um they stopped to eat at club victoria and the chef there was named Ignacio Anya. Am, am I saying that right? Anaya, maybe? <laughs> so anyway, Nacho, short for Ignacio. And he just whipped them up a snack so they could have it on their travels. And that's how nachos got their start. Um, and the recipe for that was actually printed in 1954 in St. Anne's Cookbook. By the Church of the Redeemer um, outside Fort Duncan. So I thought that was pretty cool and thought I should pass that on to you. <laughs> More useless trivia! Yay! Um, there was one, there are a couple other holidays being celebrated tomorrow, but there was one that I wanted to bring up that I feel very connected with, and it's really long, so you have to excuse me. <laughs> um, it is International Day for the for preventing the exploitation of the environment in war and armed conflict. Um, and basically what that is, is when we think about war, you know, we think about people's lives. We think about all the lives that are lost, all the um, buildings that are destroyed, 
those kind of things. We don't really think about the environment, like water being poisoned, um, if they're if people use wells or, you know, their pipes burst and poisonous stuff gets in there or trees are destroyed or crops are mowed over or burned. Um, people don't have food. People don't have, you know, trees to make oxygen. Um, and it's just a lot of damage is done and we don't often think about the effects of war that it has on the ecosystem. Um, so, um, I believe it was the UN actually, um, started this day, um, so that, you know, people would become more aware and try to, um, not destroy stuff. You know, it's really hard because, you know, sometimes these conflicts happen over the environment itself. Um, you know, one group of people needs water and the other group of people needs water, so... I'm going to have it and you're not, you know, we need it more or something, you know, so we're going to kill you over it, which is a horrible, horrible thing. But, um, you know, they're trying to figure out ways so that everybody can have enough, you know, um, and as much as I wish for peace, I don't, I don't know that that's ever going to happen, but it's, it's an awareness thing. So hopefully we can be you know, really think about that just for today and, you know, maybe the day after and maybe it'll catch on and we can, you know, because we always strive for that, even though, you know, it may be kind of a lofty goal. We always strive for embetterment. Is that a word? <laughs> to be better, you know? Um, so a couple of weeks, um, it is National Allied Health Week. And it is also National Cat Week. More kitty stuff. Love the kitties. I love all animals, mostly. <laughs> uh, not a big fan of mosquitoes, but I don't think that techni technically qualifies as, as an animal. <laughs> I was like, what exactly is the purpose of those? Everybody told me it's part of the food cycle. Uh, okay, I guess I have to accept that, but you know and bats eat other things besides mosquitoes can we just take them out of the equation <laughs> um it is child safety and protection month it is also family stories month so sit down and maybe talk about your ancestors a little bit um or stuff that you did as a child with your children um or like, you know, I, I told you guys a little bit about my really weird family dynamic. So my grandparents were technically my great grandparents. Um, so we have some interesting stories about that. You know, I mean, my, my dad, meaning my second dad was actually in World War II, which was a little while ago and in Vietnam and in Korea. And my mom was in Vietnam, my third mom. Uh, it was in Vietnam and Korea and Desert Storm. Um, and since we're all like army, I can tell those stories to my kids. Um, and some of them are sad and some of them are funny and some of them are happy, you know, some of them are good memories. So just kind of sharing some of your history um, with other members of your family. Um, it is Greens and Planned Hanes Month. Um, I think plantains are okay. They, um, they look like bananas. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the difference is. They're not as sweet, maybe. Um, but I know that a lot of people serve them fried, like with honey. Um, and they're pretty good. Not a big fan of greens. <laughs> I think I've told you guys that. Like spinach, not a big fan of greens. Um, <laughs> and, um... It is National Adoption Month. Well, you guys know I'm adopted, like I was just talking about. Um, and I think that it's a wonderful thing. You know, there are so many children out there that I hate, I hate to say, you know, that are unwanted. And, you know, it's really hard um, as a mom. You know, you want to take care of your kids. And some people, some people can't, you know, and... And it's hard to think of some people don't want to, um, but they need someone to care for them. You know, so many people 
grow up in the foster system and then and when they turn 18 they're just thrown out there with nothing you know um so um you know if that's something that you want to do and if the chance is available i would encourage that but everyone has their own their own wants and needs and priorities and and things that they do and so to you that are adoptive parents you know thank you thank you thank you thank you so much because those children need someone to love them and i think that's a wonderful thing that you're doing um and i'm gonna end it on there on a happy note um i love you guys like i said i hope you have a great day tomorrow i hope you had a great day today i will see you tomorrow evening bye